Clark Street. And, and there, there's a couple of spots in the video where uh, Daniel and the moms are telling the girls to move to the side, to move away, and then it gets to a point where it's, they see it already, yeah. and they just automatically, like, <laughs> Park the way, you know, park the sea and let the yeah, people there's, go through. There's one shot that I was actually looking at last night when one of the little girls was like pointing behind me, like there's somebody I saw that. There's I saw somebody that. behind you, and I yeah. thought that was kind of cool. they feel it. Um, the other thing you can do is instruct your models, even before your shoot, whoever, whoever your client is, um, kids, models, adults, tell them that we're shooting in a busy location, that if you see something behind me, because, you know, they're pointing and looking at you and behind me, there's so much stuff going on, say, just let me know, you know, and that's what they did. And, and for them being so, so young, they were so smart. Give me something good. Be still though, Kalani. Look at the cameraman. Come in. You're good. Do, but fix your hips. Come on and do this. She's so extra. I'm sorry. Just stand up straight. And yeah, just stay like that. Look at the cameraman. Make sure your chin is up a little. Bless you. Stay the same way. Turn around. Okay, now there, there was another thing that, that, that happened that caught my attention at Crock Street because there was a second location. Yes. But the second part of, of Crock Street was Blue Smoke. Yes. Blue Smoke. <laughs> Blue Smoke. <laughs> um, what I did was I wanted to incorporate the color of smoke with the outfits. So we had blue, yellow, red, green. And I just decided on blue only because it looks better on screen. And uh, we lit it. And one thing that I forgot to do, and I forgot to tell Anna Ladue, is when we shoot smoke, try not to have the canister in the shot. Oh! <laughs> well, I know it was in my shot. Was it in your shot? No, it wasn't in my shot. But see, I shot. But the behind the screens, the behind the scenes should have. It is. It is in there. But when, what I use for, for Alan's shot, because I don't know if you guys know, but we combine our shots together. <laughs> A lot of people don't know that. It looks yeah. like it's it's it's, it's a simultaneous shot, but there's actually two cameras. There's actually three cameras running on that on the um, on the promo video. Yeah. But I shot from outside the fence. Alan's shot was on the bottom of the side of the fence, and he also had a shot in front. So we had three cameras going. And you won't get that a lot in Atlanta. You'll get one guy with one camera. Here you got you got. We could actually run four cameras if we wanted to. But the smoke came in. Um, as a part of a transition, when you're looking at the video, um, the <laughs> the other part of them was running, in which we shot at 1080, 60. 
1080 yeah, 1080 60. And so when you when you when you uh, shoot at 1080 60, now here I'm sounding like a video guy. When you shoot at 1080 60, you could actually slow it down to where it looks so clear that it doesn't look jittery. And when we're shooting with these high def cameras, it's it's an amazing opportunity to shoot at 1080 60. But the transition of the smoke was that then them running out and them going into the smoke. Um, to transition out of their um, Slagam period outfits and stuff. So. Nailed it. It was cool, man. Now, one of the things that I have to admit is that I'm not a klepto. If you don't know what a klepto is, go look it up. It's nothing bad. But I got his lighter to light the smoke. And I put it in my pocket. So now I'm officially officially returning it. Does it work? Does it still work? It still works. It still works. Very essential part of a, of a shoot with uh, pyrotechnics is a lighter. It's a lighter. You hate to be there and there's yeah. no light. Yeah. Here's another one. I know he's done it and I've only done it once. Eh, I would say twice. Is you go to your shoot and you have no memory cards. Oh, <laughs> okay. I haven't quite done that one. That's happened to me. But I, I filled the card up and like, oops, I didn't have another yeah. one. That's happened to me. I literally get, oh, we're all set up, everything. I take my bag out and I'm like, I forgot my memory card. 